Blessed are the peacemakers, those who are enjoying enviable happiness, who are spiritually prosperous, with life, joy and satisfaction in God's favor and salvation, regardless of outward conditions. Blessed are these guys, for they are makers of peace, they are maintainers of peace, and in and through that they shall be called the sons of God. Matthew 5 verse 9 from your master on the mountain as you receive the unique input in this specific season from him. This is a peace that's not a ceasefire. It's not a religious superficial unity. It's a, not a decision just to give one another space where hearts cannot come together and cannot connect. Now you need to see your master you need to come to know him as the perfect peacemaker through his life, his heart and sacrifice on the cross. Understand his definition, his perspective of peace and what it's all about. Let's look at a few foundations. Point number one, peace as a person in the Trinity. That's called the Prince of Peace, Jesus Christ. And I challenge you the next few points that you go and get into the word and find the scriptures about this and enjoy it and take it and eat it and make it part of your life point number two peace as authority in and over you your stature of faith that you cannot be shaken and the peace in you is there because you know you know you have victory you don't have to fight every situation that peace as authority. Number three, peace as fruit, as the fruit confirmation of the Holy Spirit working in you, of His work in you. We see that in Galatians 5.22. 5.22, as you all will know. Number four, peace as an expression of a reconciled relationship through Christ between God and man and between God's family. Brothers and sisters, the family of God. Peace as a sensing or a stirring in my spirit, created by the Holy Spirit in spite of my emotions. Number six, peace as a state of being, beyond reasoning, beyond knowing all the answers. Philippians 4, 7a, hmm. peace beyond all understanding. Point number seven, peace as a protection of your heart and mind, Philippians 4, 7b. Number eight, peace as a vibrant living environment, as part of our eternal home, the new Jerusalem, and Jerusalem as the definition of Jerusalem and its meaning is habitation of peace. Number nine, peace as a result of successful prayer. Breakthrough in prayer, you will have peace. Number ten, peace as satisfaction in godly rest. A Sabbath rest in Christ Jesus. There's a peace that is like a satisfaction that you experience in rest and to rest in Christ. Then also a driving force, number 11. Peace as a driving force against stress, fear, or anxiety to establish godly fulfillment and happiness. Number 12, peace as an eternal kingdom quality. Because the word says kingdom of God is righteousness, peace, and join the Holy Spirit. Overall, if we see our Master, if we understand His definition of peace, then we need to make peace with God ourselves and others, especially ourselves also. Number four, then you can be a peacemaker, going through all these facets, coming to growing it all. Yes, you will become a peacemaker with the ministry of reconciliation working in and through you into Corinthians 5. The Son of God came 
for reconciliation through the blood of Christ. We become sons of God when our agenda come in line, is coming in line with his agenda. Sons stand with stature in the living message, the mandate and the ministry of reconciliation, where reconciliation is a relational, relational peace. There's a relational peace that God wants to bring that has to do with reconciliation that in living quality relationships. May God help us to stand with that specific ministry that he has given us and have his heart as sons of God that grew up in the Son of God. My brother, my sister, receive, believe and walk into the principles given by your master on the mountain and you as a peacemaker as an ambassador of reconciliation with a reconciliation ministry you will be called a son of God you will live as a son of God a child with maturity growing more in him you will start more and more to see what he sees and to enjoy it all with him go and explore and enjoy your life as a peacemaker as a son of god